Hello, my name is Megan Canella, and today we are going to be learning about scuba diving and about all of the wonderful things that go into the actual dive and what you'll see while you're on your dive today. This past December, I actually went on a dive in the Grand Cayman Islands. Grand Cayman is located off of the coast of Cuba on the Caribbean Sea. The waters are so clear there that there's over 100 feet of visibility while you're in the water. Grand Cayman is home to over 150 dive resorts, making it incredibly unique. I personally went to Sunset House. It's a dive-based resort that has a pool that you walk into and do an initial run-through with all of your equipment. There's a swim-in practice pool, which means that you go into the pool and then you swim into the ocean from there. Once you're in the practice pool, you, continue, you go through the procedures that you'll go through while you're on your actual dive before you exit through the tunnel that leads to the ocean. While you're doing this, you will see all of the aquatic life, especially while you go on your dive. There are bright fish and very colorful coral located just below the surface because of the warm waters of the Grand Cayman. One of the specific dive attractions that I saw while I was on my dive specifically, which you will see today, is the mermaid Anfrite. She was artificially placed by the Sunset House and is located in a reef about 55 feet under the surface. She stands at about six feet tall, making her a magnificent piece to look at while you're diving. Now, we're going to talk about the equipment that you'll be using today on your dive. One of the most important pieces of equipment is your mask. Your mask is made up of tempered glass lenses which will allow for clear visibility and can sustain high pressures while you're underwater. These goggles will be pertinent in your dive because they will allow you to see all of the wonderful colors and aquatic life that are just below the surface and you don't want to miss any of that. The next piece of equipment that you'll be wearing are your fins. We have provided you with ample blade sized fins which will make it easier for you to dive and will give you power and ease while maneuvering under the water. The foot pocket where you'll slide your foot in is made from neoprene and some of our fins also offer a soft rubber foot pocket which allows for a tighter fit so that you won't kick your fin off while you're diving. These fins range anywhere from $20 to $250 if by the end of your dive you see that you want to buy a pair. Next we have our buoyancy control device. This device gives you control while you're underwater. It is worn in a vest style and has an expandable bladder which can be inflated to ascend while you're diving or deflated while you descend. This piece of equipment is incredibly important in your dive because it allows you to control where in the water you want to sit. Say you want to sit at the top of the water, then you increase your BCD and you will float to the surface almost like you're wearing a life jacket. And if you want to go down, then you hold your deflator and overpressure valve above your head and you deflate your vest. This will make you sink to the bottom. Also, there are pockets that you can add weights to. These weights will help you have control underwater so that the current won't move you back and forth. The next piece of equipment that you will have is your regulator. It has a mouthpiece that delivers oxygen to the diver while you are submerged. The oxygen is delivered to the diver at the rate of breathing through the demand valve. All, many divers will often carry a second regulator along with them just in case of an emergency in which the tube that delivers the oxygen from the tank is severed or cut or there's any malfunction with this piece of equipment because it is incredibly important while you're underwater that you are having air delivered to you at a constant rate. The next piece of equipment we have is the SPG, or the Submersible Pressure Gauge. The gauge is hooked up to your oxygen tank and tells you how much oxygen you have left in your tank. It is incredibly important to be mindful of this gauge because it tells you if you have enough time left on your tank to be, remain underwater. It is important to keep the, that in mind that you should resubmerge if you have less than a t half a tank left of oxygen. The dial is going to be easy to read and quick access and for quick access and hangs right here on your hip while you're diving. The next piece of equipment that you'll have is your wetsuit. 
Wetsuits are typically made from closed celled neoprene, which is a thick material. Wetsuits can be worn anywhere from 1 millimeter to 9 millimeters, which is dependent on where you're diving and the temperature of the water. Today we'll be wearing 3 millimeter thick wetsuits because we are going to be diving in warm waters. The style and thickness of your wetsuit typically determines how expensive they are and we also have our wetsuits available for purchase at the end of your the next piece of equipment that we have is your scuba tank. Scuba stands for self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. They are typically made from aluminum and are negatively buoyant. So once, when you are on land, they are going to be incredibly heavy. But once you get into the water, they will make you sink. This picture is a picture of a fully suited diver who is underwater. Notice how they are diving carefully and not touching the bottom of the ocean with their fins. Now that we have talked about all of the equipment, we are going to talk about the scuba procedure. This is incredibly important and you must pay attention to this because it is incredibly important in your safety while diving. As you begin, you will signal, to your, you will signal as you begin your descent, descent to your buddy or your guide with an OK sign. As you begin your ascent, begin letting air out of your BCG, which is your vest that controls your buoyancy by holding the overpressure valve towards the surface of the water. Every five feet or so, you should equalize your goggles in order to release the pressure that is building up. To do so, you should take two fingers, put them on the forehead of the mask, tilt your head up, and blow through your nose as hard as you possibly can. This ensures comfort for the diver while they're underwater because the pressure as you begin to descend will obviously build up as you get lower and lower into the ocean. You should always be aware of your surroundings and do not touch aquatic life. This is incredibly important because it ensures your safety and ensures the safety of the biosphere that is living underwater. You should also swim in a calm, fluid manner and prevent, to prevent your flippers from scraping the ground or from hitting any reefs, you should always be attentive to where you are. At the end of your dive, be sure to equalize the pressure that builds up in your mask every five feet or so. As you begin your ascent, you should inflate your BCD, which is the vest that makes you float or sink, and slowly begin your swim to the surface. It is important to do this very, very slowly, because in many cases, the deaths that are associated with scuba diving become from pulmonary barotrauma, which means that the lungs cannot keep up with the rate of breathing because of an increased pressure. It is crucial to be aware of this as you ascend and descend. As I talked about before, you should be very attentive of the aquatic life that you're swimming around. Right here we have a video of the provocation of an animal. You should always be respectful and careful of the aquatic life that is underwater. Notice as when the bull sharks get close to the divers, they stay calm and make themselves small by tucking into a small ball. Now, now for the fun stuff. We're going to talk about the types of organisms that you'll see while you're on your dive. You'll be diving up to 130 feet below the surface, or 40 meters. You'll be seeing algae, phytoplankton, and plants here you are going to be diving in the epipelagic zone, otherwise known as the sunny zone of the ocean. You'll be seeing these types of plants because they are photosynthesizers and in order for them to live, they need the light that penetrates through the ocean. The next types of organisms that you'll see include ocean fish, jellyfish, sea turtles, seals, coral, and sharks. As another reminder, you should not provoke any of these animals or try to reach out and touch them at any time during your dive. And that is incredibly important to remember. Finally, I have a video to show you that is kind of fun to show you a little bit of a preview and to get you hyped to go on your dive. Okay, anyone have any questions? Let's go have some fun! <laughs>